this is the ferry terminal in Rossi and you can see it's absolutely stunning morning and the ferry is in down there we've even got a wee cormorant oh it's just beautiful when you get the weather so the plan we're going to cycle right across to Port Bannantyne sticking to the coastal road and then maybe make our way back to Mount Stewart. Uh, do you want to tell us what's happening, please? Yeah, we've just done about 2.5 miles from Rossi. And look at our, our view the whole way. It's amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. And tell me about your new electric bike. Oh, it's, it's brilliant. Look. Would you like? I just love it. Are you going to, is this going to be a free advert for Rawley? But honestly, it makes cycling so much better. Well, for a wee thing like you, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Bosch. It's a work of art. <laughs> work of art, absolutely. Like you, my darling. <laughs> absolutely glorious morning. Yeah, that's it. Uh, okay, that's great. Yeah, heading our way. <laughs> yeah. Have you enjoyed it, your thing? Yeah, it's really good. Wow, look how dramatic that weather is. Huge, huge rain cloud. Luckily, heading away from us. On our way back from Street Bay, we we'll come across this lovely church. So we're just going to get in and take a look. Wow, it really is a ruin. <laughs> I actually don't even know the name of this church. I was just about to ask you that. No, I don't, but it's a war graves church too. Is it? What does that mean exactly? It means people who died in the war would have been buried here. Alright. All right. Maybe I can see how old some of the graves are. Alright, okay. About 1800 is about the earliest grave that I've seen. I'm sure they'll be older if we persevered. But we're going to head back now towards Rossi and then take the opposite direction. We're back, look, Port What do you think of the weather? Isle of Butte, half an hour across the water from the mainland, an hour from Glasgow, and this is what you're getting. And just there, that's the start of Rossi where the ferry comes in. We're heading back that way. That's the ferry, and just behind there. Okay, if you want to uh, tell us what's going on, please. We have just about reached Ascog. All right, and what's what's so special about Ascog? Well, it's on on the way to Mount Stewart House. All right, okay. But one of the sad memories, the only sad memory I have of Butte, All right. is going to the children's home in Ascog. Oh no, is that because you were naughty? No, it's because I was poor. And Rossi's back that way. They come right along the coast. That's the mainland right over there. And that's Ascog. We're heading down there. We're now in the little village of Kerrycroy. That's it, that's the size of it. It's really a hamlet. And it's right on the water. You can see the ferry coming across in the middle of the screen there. And it's got quite a substantial pier. 
for the size of the village. Pan round just a little bit more and that's the gates and entry to Mount Stewart. It's absolutely idyllic. Is the gate open to Mount Stewart? Maggie, the gate's always open to you, baby. What's the name of the village? Kerry Croy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that, would that be Kerry Croy Beach by any chance? It is. I used uh -huh. to come here as a child. Let's walk to the end of the pier. So what do you think of this little place? Absolutely brilliant. It's been a great day as a normal Brilliant. And that's the gates just there that we're going to go through into the estate. So we're going to cycle up through the grounds to the big house. Here we are cycling through the grounds, which are just really nice. And we'll stop at the house. Are you enjoying yourself? It's really great, I love it. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of the grounds of Mount Stewart? Look. What's that? Show us what you've seen. Big surprise! Oh wow, what, what is that place? Wow. It's pretty cool my darling. It's pretty cool. I don't think it's open to the tourism yet, do you? And that is the magnificent house. It's even more splendid inside. And just there, at the end of this lawn, is the sea. The Kingard Hotel and Smitty Bar. And we're just going to go in here now for some lunch. What do you think of the food we've just had? Look at this pudding. This is a taster for two with cheesecake and lemon posset and brownie and key lime pie. Definitely a place to come. Had our lunch really full now and we're going to head back the way we came to Mount Stewart down to Kerikroy village and along to Ascog and back along into Rossi. You can see a little frigate going out there. There we are back at the magnificent Mount Stewart house and we're going to just go down now through the grounds again and back out to Kerikroy. What a beautiful, beautiful rainbow we've got. Well, it's been a great cycle today and we're still getting great views. Oh, just got back to the campsite after an amazing day of cycling. And I even made it in full turbo up Serpentine Hill, which has got 14 twists and turns and zigzags in half a mile. Guy had to do it manually. <laughs> Seven o'clock, Saturday night. And we've had a whole day cycling on Butte. But now we're just waiting in that little ferry just over there to come and take us back across to the mainland and we'll go for a drive up towards Oban.